Dear Creator, we're here today together in Flat Bay in Nogma Village. We're here to embrace the life that you've given us and embrace the families that you've given us and the community that you've given us. And we're here because we acknowledge and we see because you've shown us, dear God, many times you've shown us all in our prayers and in our everyday life that there's an attack on our family unit. There's an attack on our babies. There's an attack on our parents. There is no profile of what this attack is on. And it's when our dear people, scarred and hurt and misguided and confused about life and the things that have gone on until they become comfortably numb. And when they become comfortably numb, some of us choose to leave because there's no feeling anymore and there's no purpose anymore because our people, our babies, our mothers, our fathers, our teachers, our garbage men, our everyone. Again, there is no profile. It hits everyone. Our people, we hurt them. We don't know that we hurt them. They're hurting. We all have a part in it, but it's not our fault because we choose to be here. We choose to have our life. We choose to do the very best that we can in it. And we are at fault because we're human. So everything we do is both a blessing, sometimes a curse, because we walk this path and we choose to live here. But the greatest thing about it is that we choose to be here. We choose to love and we choose to have purpose. We choose to do the things that you guide us, dear Creator, every day to do and to be in our communities and in our families. We choose to do that and then we feel good and we feel purpose. And dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for giving us all purpose. Dear Creator, thank you again for the life that we have, for our children, for the resources that we have. Thank you for our vision and our mouths and our hearing and our arms and our legs and especially for our breath, for all the things that give us life, for everything that comes in our mind sometimes when we have a thought, maybe, maybe someone's struggling, maybe I didn't notice someone today, maybe my child is home after school and he's only saying it's okay, maybe he's not. Maybe my grandmother or my senior is at home and she's been alone maybe all month. Maybe nobody's visited her and maybe she says she's okay and maybe she's not. Forgive us for everything that we take for granted. Help us to see clearly. And when you, dear Lord, dear Creator, when you give us that little thing inside of us that tells us, hey, maybe we should go over and see that neighbor, or maybe we should call our son, or maybe we should beg for time off early just to go home and see our babies after school. When you give us that little urge and you help us to recognize, thank you, dear Creator, for that, because that saves our people that day. Thank you for the water, dear Lord, because it is our best creation, it is our best resource. Our water, it carries all of the intelligence. It is the one resource that can go in and out of anything. And it carries all of the DNA and intelligence between all of us. The water that's in me was in my friend here yesterday, maybe last year. We share the water. The water flows in and out of all of us, of all races, of all people. And when our mother's water broke, it broke and gave us life. And it broke with an intelligence that came from all of our ancestors and came from all parts of the world. We were given life. We were given intelligence. And every time we drink a glass of water, we say this is life and this is intelligence. And in this water, in this glass of water, there's memory from all of our people all around the world. There's feelings. There's memories of their good times and memories of our bad times. And it gives us some feeling of life and some understanding of what is life, what we're here for, what we go through. We bargain to be here. We bargain, we agree with you, dear Creator, to be here. And because we agree to be here, we agree that with that comes beauty and comes pain. Thank you, dear Lord, for the water. Help us today as we look across the whole nation for every community affected by early lives. Early lives being our people who leave earlier, who choose to leave earlier, 
Help us today to understand that they don't always choose. Sometimes it chooses them because sometimes comfortable numbness has an energy of its own, a power of its own, stronger than our will. Help us to be able to help our people and help ourselves to feel purpose in life and not to become comfortably numb. We need to feel what we're here for. We're here to serve. We're not here to take. We're not here to fight with each other. We're not here to get rich. The best piece of life that you've given us is to serve each other, the world, to plant, to pet a dog, to hold a baby, to be there when our children come home from school, and to be there for our seniors as they become isolated. Take the attack of drugs away from our children, dear God. Help us to show us what we're supposed to do about that. We're confused. We're confused about how to help our people with the drugs. The drugs, it helps them become comfortably numb on their own before they're even ready, before life has had a chance to even scar them. To the point of comfortable numbness. So we have an enemy on us, and it is the drugs, and that is one of the attacks on our babies and on our families. Doing the drugs, who have the ability to be away from it. Thank you for that. But on the same note, we need to realize that we're all the same. Our way of coping and our way of dealing is all the same. We all do things to ourselves and to one another, and we can't judge that. The white man is not the enemy in all of these politics with our nation right now. The black man is not the enemy. The gray man is the, the enemy. It is influence as where we all forget the colors of life. We forget the beauty of life. We forget our own individualism. We forget we can be ourselves and that we don't have to be like everybody else and we don't have to be in a square box. And when we try to do that, we become dull and gray and comfortably numb. Thank you, dear God, for all of our colors, all of our intelligence, our complexities, our beauty. Each one of us here, we have so much. It is complex. We are all complex. We don't hurt each other. We don't judge each other because we are all the same and we all have mountains to move. And we all have valleys of darkness and we all have abundance to give this world. Thank you, dear Lord, dear Creator, for all the abundance you've given us. Let us see it every day and let us save our lives. Let us complete our lives to the end of our path, the one that you've set out for us. Help us to see it clearly. Sonogama.